What's going on everyone? I am here at what remains of Heritage USA, which was a Christian theme park that was started by televangelist Jim Baker and his wife Tammy Faye Baker. So we're gonna walk, I wanna walk around and uh, kinda show you what existed and it was, it was, a, it was a theme park, a water park, and, and uh, they had some other little, uh, they had a hotel and and it just, uh, and I'll talk more about the history of it as we go on. This was the general, no, this is the remnants of the old store uh, for Heritage USA. I guess it was like some kind of a, a general store from my understanding. And uh, I guess now they have basketball, a basketball court uh, here. So they're at least they're utilizing it, and those old uh, cabins there, I think they may have been built for Heritage USA as well. I'm not for certain, but we can walk up there and at least see. Somebody just pulled in. Maybe I can ask them. I don't. Uh, got some old. Old tiny, it's like railroad wood. You, as they use the steps, and they got the uh, rail spikes. In it. Look like oh, a couple. Huh. It doesn't look like it's being utilized by anybody or many people. I thought that may have something on it, some kind of. Got a volleyball court, basketball court, eh, still kind of a cool little place. But now I don't know what the old tower, the old, uh, because this place was really busy in the 80s. It got to be pretty popular. And Jim Baker, the whole, his, uh, his whole goal behind this was building a Christian Disneyland or yeah, Disney World, Christian Disney, I guess. Um, and it was it was uh, hopping for a while, but that tower there, I don't know what it's being used for now. I do see cars in the parking lot, so I guess it is used as something these days. Look at this. Cool little, you can have like a little campfire. There's some grills. And play your guitar. Pretty, you know, that'd be a, yeah, cool little place just to hang out. Oh man, with all these old tree stumps. Hell yeah. Really cool. Now, even after the theme park went under, they still used this land as uh, for for a uh, ministry. Here and here is what it looks like now. Now, this looks like some kind of a relic from the past. I don't know what, but probably would have definitely been a part of Heritage USA PTL. Like somebody's camping out. Now these buildings here were part of uh, Heritage USA as well. I do believe a lot of this is closed now, but I believe that was a coffee house. So I think this road turns into a, like goes down. I see a lot of cars going down that road and it might be, maybe it's a subdivision down there. Yeah, this, that, that's the Chatty Cathy's Coffee House. And being 4th of July weekend, I kind of figured, you know, it probably wouldn't be open. It's 
Let's see if we can find the remains of the old castle. Well, here's the lake back here, or a small, yeah, a small lake. I think. Cool little cabins back here, bro. Yeah, it looks nice. They're probably rentable at one time. That was some sort of stage for bands. There was a... Makes you wonder if that cross was there years ago. How's it going? Nice little picnic tables on the lake. <clears throat> you know, the rock on the side, it almost makes you wonder if that's a fake, you know, kind of a fake little facade they, you know, to give uh, the theme park uh, Kind of a neat look. It may not be, but it might be real. But if I could get to it, I'd I'd like to see. Huh. That's cool. See, because then, then there's concrete, and then there's kind of rock on the side. Oh no. What's up, guys? Cool bridge. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'm gonna pull out. Uh, I'm gonna definitely find some old pictures of, of Heritage USA back in its glory days. Kind of try to show you what I can. Yeah, but this is in Rock Hill, South Carolina, just on the outskirts of Charlotte. Um, Actually, Carowinds theme park is right around the corner, so so it's just down the road road from Carowinds. If you're ever in the area and you want to check this out and see it for yourself, it's very close. This is the remains of the castle that once stood here. It, yeah, I get to my. To my understanding, yeah, uh, he wanted to he build sort of a neat kind of give it a neat kind of look, and and he built this castle to, and it's been gone for for quite a while now. To to what I for what I understand, I don't I don't know how long exactly, but this is the this would have been probably uh some of the foundation, some of the flooring. And here's this, here's a little, here's some more, very cool. Drainage. Here's there would have been some of the parking. 
and where all these a lot of these houses are there was it, who knows there's probably more parking at one time there's some more look at that more foundation you see they've been cutting down trees that's so cool man There's also a famous picture in 1987 of Jim Falwell sliding down one of the water slides here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was called the Typhoon, if, if my memory serves me correct. It was a big water slide from what I understand. This is the famous photo of Jerry Falwell coming down the, down the slide. Here is a picture of the water slide back in the late 80s. I'm glad I got here though because I got here to see this before they tear it down. Yeah, that's that's definitely uh yeah, this was open. This was a part of uh the theme park back in the 80s. I figured it's, figured it's closed. Uh, kind of cool looking in there though. Look at that old carpet. Now that's what it, look like one in the Grand Cafe or that building that I uh, just showed you they look yeah look really nice it still does look pretty nice in there from what I've seen from uh, other videos it just happened to be closed you know um, on the day I was there on Sunday plus it was 4th of July 4th of July weekend so that didn't help <laughs> and now that I'm looking at it I I'm I'm seeing that it's in total ruins now. From the distance, I couldn't tell. It just looked like a, I mean, it looked kind of, kind of old and, but look at all, look at all the, man, there's even, even a balcony missing there. That's wild. Here's another old basketball court from the day. Look how beat up this parking lot is. Mm -hmm. Wow, that goal seen better days. But yeah, this would have been one of their, probably one of their, this would have been their major parking lot for the, for Heritage USA. And it's sad because it seems like from what I've gathered that they almost built that tower for no reason. It, it's almost, it never, it's like they wasted resources building a lot of, a lot of this. And didn't really get to get to get much use out of it. I like that old light post. I wonder how old if that's old. If that dates back to the day. Don't know. Here's another one. Looks dated, doesn't it? Now here's a picture of the 
Now here's some footage of the tower when it was being constructed. And yeah, uh, so it never got to be used. Uh, it literally, when the whole scandal went down, the old Jim Baker scandal went down, uh, he, this bad, you know, they pretty much had to uh, pack up and, and abort the whole construction. Guys, I appreciate you joining me. This is a, uh, This is fun. I'm glad I, 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 thought, I thought to come here. I, I, I said, oh, what? I, I knew there was something in the Charlotte area I wanted to film. And this was it. And there's some, somewhere else I want to try to find in the Concord area as well. But uh, if I can find it, uh, you'll be the first to know.